Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Oakland Athletics is Blue Moon Odom, whose record is 1-1 one one with a 2.79 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Bob Meyer, whose record is 2-0 with a 5.14 ERA. Yeah, we had a major debacle yesterday. We lost four in a row. Yesterday's game was just horrific. Uh, we had four errors as the, the A's got up early. It got up 6 nothing, and uh, we actually fought back, made it interesting at the end against the bullpen until Rally Fingers came in to close it out. But defensively, we were pathetic. Van Kelly had two errors. Everybody in the infield had an error with the exception of Mike Hegan who doubled and was the player of the game. So uh, not a great performance. We do seem to be in a bit of a tailspin. We have game three today, and then after the game, we have a day off. So uh, we're going to need that uh, to rest up, maybe make some minor league adjustments, maybe have a call-up, um, and, uh, and then we move on to Los Angeles. So let's go ahead and get today's game started, as always. I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. There's Bob Meyer. He had one terrible start, two solid starts. Uh, he's on the mound today, left-hander, so we'll probably see somebody different in the lineup. Um, the bullpen, everybody is available except for Jerry Stevenson. And really with the day off tomorrow, although he's listed as tired, if we really need him, which we might, uh, he... he he could be available. Uh, here's our lineup against Blue Moon Odom, who is a right-hander. Uh, I guess we're going to give Wayne Comer the everyday duty in center field. Uh, da I'm not Danny Walton. Um, Steve Hovley hasn't been getting it done offensively. Uh, he has not been clutch. He hasn't really been hitting at all. So Wayne Comer will get the job. And we're going to give Fred Stanley the day off. His average is dipped down to 200 after the good start that he had. And uh, Gordy Lund will be playing shortstop today. So let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Oakland A's. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Monday. Batting second and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting third in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting third in right field is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth at third base is Sal Bando. Batting sixth at first base is Danny Cater. Batting seventh at second base is Dick Green. Batting eighth at shortstop is Bert Campanaris. And the pitcher, John Odom, in the ninth spot. Okay, let's take a look at Bob Meyer. Good old Bobby making his fourth start, 2-0, with that 5-14 ERA, 11 Ks, and 14 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 291 against him. You know he's got that blistering fastball, 97 miles an hour, tops out at. Uh, and it is rated a 95, so it's a damn good pitch either way. It's got a hard curve as a secondary pitch, which is terrible, rated a 66. Overall, he is rated an 81. The 29-year-old lefty goes to arbitration at the end of next year. Let's take a look at the defense. Pretty solid as we have upgraded our shortstop defensively uh, to Gordy Lund. And, uh, of course, Harper out there in right, well below average, but doing a good job, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here with uh, Rick Monday leading off. Monday batting 270 with a home run, striking out on a hard curve. So Meyer teasing him with the fastball and pulling the string. That's a good way to make a terrible pitch, you know, um, acceptable, I guess. One out, and of course he walked. Yeah, you can't have a strikeout without a walk. So Tennis is on first. That's why he's in the number two spot. Gene Tennis did walk a lot in his career. Runner on first for Tommy Reynolds. Oh, brutal. Back-to-back -back walks for Reggie. Lefty on lefty. Reggie had his first home run of the season yesterday. 
And fortunately, Meyer just gets in on his wrist. So he can pop it up to first for out number two. That's going to bring up Sal Bando. He does not mess around with lefties. He's batting 348. So runners on first and second with two down. Let's see what Sal Bando does. Fly ball into center field. That is catchable for Comer for out number three. So a couple of walks and a strikeout in there. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's go ahead and do the Seattle Pilots lineup rundown. Starting with Tommy Harper leading off in right field. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Tommy Ag. Batting cleanup and catching is Jerry McNurtney. Batting fifth at first base is Mike Hegan. Batting sixth in center field is Wayne Comer. Batting seventh at second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at shortstop is Gordy Lund. And batting ninth in pitching is Bob Meyer. Let's take a look at Blue Moon Odom. One of his classmates in high school thought his face looked round like the moon. And that's how he got his nickname. Possibly not acceptable anymore for that reason, but uh, that's how he got the nickname. <laughs> He's a two-time All-Star, three-time World Series champ. Really the first good pitcher of the Oakland Athletics, uh, as this is the Oakland's uh, a second year in Oakland. He was used as a pinch runner 105 times in his career, and he was the last American League pitcher to steal a base uh, in 1973 before Gene Nelson did it in 1988. In 1968, he almost threw a no-hitter. He went eight and two-third innings against Baltimore when Davey Johnson broke it up uh, with just an out to go. And you might remember Gene Brabender almost threw a no-hitter last week against the Orioles, and the player that broke it up in the eighth inning was none other than Davey Johnson. So strange coinky dink there 1976 Blue Moon Odom was on the Chicago White Sox and threw a combined no hitter with Francisco Barrios um, Blue Moon Odom threw five innings he walked nine and was taken out of the ball game for Barrios so he was effectively wild as Barrios closed out the ball game he's one and one making his fifth start this year uh, 279 ERA, 15 Ks in 29 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 208 against him. He does have a shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47%. He's got a sinking fastball that's rated an 85. And a couple other pitches that are below average. Overall rated an 80 to 23 year old already. Goes to arbitration at the end of the year. There is the uh, A's defense. They got uh, Dick Green at second base, which is a nice upgrade. Rated a 90 defensively. Solid in the outfield. The only liability defensively is uh, Gene Tennis behind the plate. He's got that 70 arm that we've exposed in the series. Really to no avail. Okay, here's uh, Tommy Harper leading off against Blue Moon Odom. Real name is Johnny Odom, not John Odom, although... It says it on his card, but his real name is Johnny Lee Odom. Harper flies out to center. There's one down. Rich Rollins up next, looking for his first home run. Hey, there's a hit into the left center field gap, and he's going to stretch it into a triple. I believe that's the second triple. It is, yeah. I think he's got both Seattle triples this year. They're going to pull the infield in. That's probably a good move. As Tommy Agee's up. Now, Agee strikes out a ton. If he can get the ball to the outfield, I think we got a good chance of scoring. 2-1 count. And a ground ball to short. Rollins holds. Out number two for Jerry McNurtney. McNerdy leading the team in RBI. He's got 15. Let's see if we can get another one here. No, they're going to walk him. Unintentional, intentional walk. Four straight pitches, not even close. Um, doesn't make sense to do that when you got a lefty coming up with Mike Keegan. 
He can only batting 220 versus righty, so maybe that is a good decision. Oh, can't control it. Walks. He can as well. And that will load the bases for Wayne Comer. Can Wayne Comer have the first grand slam in Seattle Pilots history? Nope. Oh, he walks in a run, though. Three straight walks for Blue Moon Odom. And it's a full moon now as things are getting crazy. Here in the first inning, Van Kelly steps up. Kelly had a horrific game yesterday defensively. Let's see if he can do something good. He strikes out swinging with the bases loaded. Uh, our bottom of the lineup from uh, six through, well, really seven, eight, and nine is always going to be bad on this team. We go to the top of the second inning with a one nothing lead thanks to the three-walk inning from Odom. Danny Cater leading off. And he crushed it. There's Cater's fifth home run of the season. I believe he is second in the American League in home runs. He has almost as many home runs in 66 at-bats as he did last year in 504 at-bats. He's got a 78 power. I don't know. Okay. Okay. He's like um, this league's Lloyd Mosby. Remember when Lloyd Mosby for Toronto that was absolutely crushing it? I think he had like 30 home runs at the All-Star break. And he ended up hitting like 35 or something. Dick Green strikes out. Second K for Bob Meyer. A ground ball to short from Campy. And Blue Moon Odom, 0 for 9 on the season. Wow, he scorches it. Frozen rope to center for out number three. So the game is now tied at one on the home run by Danny Cater. We go to the bottom of the second with Gordy Lund leading off. Gordo still doesn't have a hit versus righties. Flies out to center. Batting 125 now. Oh, boy. Sharply hit ground ball for Bob Meyer. And an error on the first baseman, Danny Cater. Still thinking about that home run. Doesn't have his head in the game. So we have Meyer on first. Let's hit and run. Try to get something going here. Harper does hit and run well. Oh, that's not going to get it done. Blue Moon Odom jammed him inside. He's still got some good wood on it, but... A line drive to center field is out number two. That will bring up Rich Rall. And he pops it up to second. Green's going to make the catch on the outfield grass. We go to the top of the third with Rick Monday leading it off. Monday 0 for 1, struck out, start off the ball game. And he gets a base hit to center. So he timed him up pretty good there. Sent it right back into center field. Will Monday be on the move? Here's Gene Tennis. He walked first time up. He's going to walk again. Third walk by Bob Meyer. Reynolds walked his first time up as well. We need a double play here. Nope, base hit the left. That's going to score a run. It's 2-1, to one and nobody's out here in the third. Reggie's up. He's dangerous. Ground ball, base hit. He went with it. Shot it into left field. It barely made it out of the infield grass, but the catcher scored from second? I mean, come on. Like, what are the ratings for? Anything at all? Do they serve any purpose? Bando pops it up on the infield. 50-50 shot. It's an error. Oh, it's going to be caught. One out. Runners on first and second for Danny Cater. He's already gone deep today. One, two count. Gets the bat into the bat of the ball and uh, sends it to center field. No harm done there. And Dick Green's up. I was just checking to see if we could pull the outfield in. It's just no longer an option. That's fine. And he strikes out. 
All right. So they get two more runs. Three to one. Tommy Ag leading off. He's 0 for 1. Striking out. One down. Here's Jerry McNertney. Hey, there's a shot into right center field. The catcher has another triple. Come on. We had one triple all season, and we've got two in this game in the first uh, two-plus innings. He doesn't even have a double this year. That's his second career triple. All right. Are they going to pull the infield in? No, they're going to play back. Well, okay. All right. Let's see here. I mean, a sack fly with McNerton on third, probably not going to get it done. But a ground ball anywhere should score the run. Oh, that's not going to happen. It was never going to happen. That's why they didn't pull the infield in. And Wayne Cope. Hey, Comer comes through with the base hit. Justifying his existence. Uh, do we go for two? Nope. Three to two. Good job by Comer. 70% chance to steal second. I mean, we may as well. We're not going to get a lot of opportunities the whole season to uh, put up runs. So, why not send Comer here? Does he have any stolen bases? He does not. Here we go, 70% chance. Van Kelly's up. Right down the middle, and he steals second base as Kelly takes strike one. There you go. Okay, so Kelly, base hit here will tie the ball game, I believe. 2-2 two -two count. And Kelly shoots it at third, and that will be out number three. Great job by Bando over there. One of the better defensive third basemen in the American League. He's no Brooks, but he's pretty solid. We go to the top of the four. Three to two now. As the uh, pilots are edging closer. A strikeout of Campy by Bob Meyer. Four Ks. Here's the pitcher, Odom. Odom, fly ball to right. Harper making the catch. Back to the top of the lineup with Rick Monday. Monday popping it up on the infield near second. And a 1-2-3 inning. There we go. That's what we needed. Keep him off the board. Give our offense a shot. Starting with Gordy Lund. Oh, come on, Gordy. Ground ball into the hole at second, but Dick Green has solid range. Bob Meyer strikes out. Four Ks for Odom. And Tommy Harper taps it right back to Odom for out number three. We're going to the fifth inning. Meyer at 84 pitches. He could probably go 110 pitches, I guess. He's not doing so bad. Oh, he strikes out Gene Tennis. That's hard to do. Five Ks for Bob. It's going to bring up Tommy Reynolds. One for one with a walk. Wait a minute. Wow. How did that ball become a ground out after it got past Hegan? It said ground to second, but what, did my eyes deceive me? I thought it was like right there. I don't know. Maybe we had the shift on. Weird. That was weird. Maybe it's my eyes. And a strikeout. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Bob Meyer, before the season started, he was my favorite pitcher, one that I projected to do well. And uh, although he's been beat around pretty good today, at least he strikes out people. And that's entertaining to me. Rich Rollins strikes out. So, Odom is keeping pace. He's got five to... Myers six strikeouts. Tommy Agee is going to even it up. Oh, no. Ground ball to short. So both pitchers are settling in. And McNertney grounds out to first. So Pilots have three hits today. Two of them are triples. We're going to the top of the sixth inning. Bob Meyer, 93 pitches. This will probably be the last inning. Yeah. 
He's about to get loose. With his control. Cater lines it to right. Harper. How is Harper so good with a 65 rating? I, I don't think he's made an error out there yet. And he seems to catch everything. Base hit up the middle for Dick Green. Struck out his first two times up. And he finally gets a base hit. So that's the fifth hit for the A's. And runner in scoring position. If this wasn't the bottom of the lineup, I probably would yank him here. Nothing to do but play straightaway defense. There's a ground ball to second. Can we turn two? Yes. 4-6-3 double play. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. So a very... Uh, I was going to say very good performance. It wasn't a very good performance. It was a solid performance by Bob Meyer. Okay. Mike Higgins leading off. I bet you the game will get us to Bob Meyer and make me make a call there. Let's see if that pans out. Here's Mike Higgins. Yep, base hit. So we're going to get to... Um, Bob Meyer. As Higgins on first, he's got good speed for a first baseman. We're going to hit and run, though, with Wayne Comer. He does it below average, but I don't know. Let's try to get somebody over for crying out loud. As a comebacker to Odom, that will get Higgin into scoring position. So Kelly will either walk get a hit. Oh, ground ball to second. So this is where, this is going to be a walk, right? It has to be. Tying runs 90 feet away. No, one, two count. Ground ball into the hole. It's short. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there has been some changes to the AI. As uh, Meyer at 105 pitches. Is coming out. They're going to let leave uh, Blue Moon Odom in there. He's got 100 pitches of his own. Okay. I guess Jack Acker. His last name is like he's coughing up a home run. Acker. He's given up one only. 0-1, uh, 648 ERA. Uh, his fastball tops out at 86 miles an hour. He doesn't have one, actually. It's a sinker. That's his go-to pitch. The 28-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the season. Let's see if he can get a pitcher out. Nope. Nope. First not. He walks a pitcher. And, of course, he's got a 57 speed. I mean, the pitch hit 100. Uh, pitch ran 105 times. And he's got 57 speed. So that's wrong. Uh, but we'll take the double play as Monday grounds uh, to third. So we go around the horn and get two. And then a ground ball gets past Gordy into center field for a hit. Two down, runner on first for Tommy Reynolds. Reynolds had a home run against Acker yesterday. We go to the bottom of the seventh after Acker gets his revenge, striking out Reynolds. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Three to two, Acker coming out of the game. We're going to pinch. Pinch hit Hovley? I mean, let's see. Who hits righty's best? I guess it's Hovley. Here we go. Steve Hovley at the plate, 1-0 count, and a base hit to center field. So some guys are just better coming off the bench. Yeah, we're going to go for two. Why not? And he's safe at second. I was ready to uh, call him out. Great hustle by Hovley. I think he's got a few doubles. Yeah, it's his third double of the season. All right, so runner... Uh, tying run is in scoring position. Let's see if Tommy Harper can hit it to the right side and get Hovley over. No. God bless it. It's so frustrating having a team that is 
so below standard. But that's part of the fun, right? And a base hit for Rollins. Hovley scores. The game is tied at three. Let's see if we can't get a couple more here. AG is so due for something good. He still doesn't have a home run. There's a wild pitch moving Rollins over. Maybe that is an omen. Here we go. AG strikes out looking. Wow, he has not been good for us. Blue Moon Odom is officially tired now as McNurtney's up. I guess this is the one guy you want up here. He's one for two today with a walk. And he, like I said, he's leading the team in RBI. They're going to walk him again. Fourth walk. And Mike Hegan, who's one for two with a walk of his own. This is a this is a big uh, a big pitch here coming from Odom. Three one count, and they walk him again. That is the second time we've gone back to back, and maybe they can repeat the three peat with Wayne Comer. Comer has the big hit today in the second. Drove in our second run on the second inning. I mean the third inning. Drove in the second run. One two count. Well, he does get a piece of it. It was up and in. Sends it to left. And the game is tied going into the eighth inning. Um, I'm, we're not going to pinch. Uh, we're not going to uh, use Hovley defensively. We have Whitaker for that. Okay, so we have a lefty and two righties coming up. We're going to go with Diego Segui. We've used him a ton already. He's our setup guy. He's thrown 11 and two third innings. Uh, you know, and I, I'm okay with that because if you look at the endurance, if they're over like 25 to the 32 range, then to me that means they can go multiple innings. They're going to have many uh, innings pitched. So let's see if he can get Reggie. We're not doing our normal lefty-lefty matchup, even though we got two lefties in the bullpen. Yeah, Sagi gets Reggie looking. There's been a lot of strikeouts in this game, combined. I guess it's making up for all those walks in the first two weeks of the season. We must have more strikeouts and walks now as a pitching staff, as Bando grounds out to short. And Cater hits one to Lund as well, and that'll do it. They're going to the bottom of the eighth. They're keeping Blue Moon Odom in there. He's thrown 130 pitches. Come on. We got we to gotta tag him right here. Come on, Van Kelly. Base hit up the middle. Good job by Van Kelly. Um, yeah, we are going to sacrifice Bunt. They know that. Let's see if Gordy can get it done. Let's go, Gordo. A bunt back to the pitcher. And he does advance Kelly to second base. So we're going to pull Sagi and bring in Steve Whitaker. I know he hasn't been great versus righties, but we're, we're planning the matchup. Uh, he does have a three-run pinch hit home run. And if we can get the lead, he can go right into right field. All right, here we go. Runner on second, one down. Are they going to intentionally walk him? Nope, 2-2 two -two count. Ground ball up the middle. That will keep... Why was he running? I, I thought he was going to hold it second. That is so stupid. We've got a pitcher with 143 pitches, which makes no sense, and a base runner running with the ball in front of them. I I don't get it. This guy is still pitching. We should be hitting bombs off him into the upper deck. There's a line drive to the left. All right, we're going to the ninth inning. Harper did just bat, so we were gonna we're gonna use Whitaker on uh, on defense. It's not like it's gonna get it back around to him anyway. So we're gonna 
Put Whitaker into right field. That'll give us some solid defense out there. And our pitcher, I guess, will be Mike Marshall. It is the ninth inning, after all. And Marshall's just been a big old can of crap. Take a look at him. Look at this can of crap. Um, eighth game, 563 ERA. He's given up five runs in eight innings. Uh, he hasn't walked that many, but he's given up two home runs already. And he's three for five in save opportunities. And the rest of it is just sad. Sad trombone noises are being made all over the stadium. Whenever he comes, you know, some, some people come into like Metallica. Mike Marshall comes into sad trombone noises. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. Dick Green. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wah, wah, green on first with a walk. We got to pull out corners in here. <laughs> uh, I mean, if, if Bert doesn't bunt, then why has he got a 96 bunt? Oh, it's a line drive right at our third baseman. Double him off. No. Can't double him off. We do get the out. And green holds. That would bring up Jose Morales, one of the better pinch hitters of all time, I believe. Yeah, I believe he holds a record or held the record of some pinch hitting record. I can't remember what it is. I'll look it up and mention it uh, in the comments. But he did hold a record for pinch hitting. All right. Oh, there's another walk. Oh, it's a comebacker to Marshall. Oh, he turns two. Okay, we've, we're going to have a chance to walk it off. All right, they're going to bring in a rally fingers. We saw him yesterday. He got the save. It was his third. Um, he's not Raleigh yet. He doesn't have the mustache. Um, his ratings are particularly great, but he's going to get there. Rich Rollins leading off. Rollins, A.G., and McNertney are due up. Ground ball to second. Dick Green tosses him out. One down for Tommy Ag. Flips it to right field. Out number two. Somehow we've actually got more hits than Oakland today. Two quick outs. We're on the verge of free baseball unless Jerry McNerney does something about it. Full count. Jammed inside. A lazy fly ball to left. We're going to the 10th inning. Um, I guess Mike Marshall will come back out for a second inning. Not something I like to do, but why not? Here we go. Wow, look at that pitch. A screwball that should have hit him in the waist. He swung and missed. There's out number one. Gene Tennis up next, and he laces it into center field all the way to the wall for a double. That is the go-ahead run in scoring position on second base, his third double of the season. This will be Mike Marshall's last batter. We're going to go after him instead of walk him. Ground ball to third. That'll, uh, you know, like, why wouldn't Tennis run on that one, right? He's got a 68 speed. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bleh, we're going to take out uh, Mike Marshall for Ron Locke to go after Reggie. I don't we don't trust John Morris. We know that. I do trust Ron Locke, who came over uh, in the deal with Tommy Ag. He's gonna face Reggie Jackson here. Reggie betting 231 versus lefties. Here we go. One two count. Oh, man, he just missed that one. Flipping it out to left field. Let's end this right now. Come on, let's go. Mike Hegan, bottom of the 10th. Raleigh back out there. And he walks it. Because. Hit and run, Wayne Comer. Let's go. Let's put this game away right now. 
Oh, they're going to pull the infield in. That's weird. A comebacker to fingers. And it does get Higgin over. Uh, it never even occurred to me to bunt. Is Comer bunt? Does he bunt? Yeah, that bunt's pretty good. All right. Runner in scoring position for Van Kelly. A base hit will win the ball game. Now oh, they're going to intentionally walk him to get to Gordy Lund. El Gordo. El Gordita. We are going to take him out for Danny Walton. Definitely a superior hitter. And that will force us to bring Ray Euler in to play defensively. All right. Danny Walton betting 273. He's got, what, three or four hits this year, and they're all pinch hit. This could be a double play, though. First to second, one down. Here we go. Oh, they're going to walk him. Wow, that backfired. And now they're going to bring in Steve Whitaker. Now, I'm not, not, they're not going to bring him in. He comes up as a left-hander to face fingers. This should be our advantage, but Whitaker uh, definitely strikes out a ton. Let's just have him get a sack fly. Make contact. Here we go. Base is loaded. One out. This is the ball game, perhaps. Oh, he walks in the run, and the Pilots win. The losing streak is over in the most ridiculous way. Handshakes, butt slaps, slap mistakes. Oh, man. I don't even know anymore. Simulating. Let's see if what it simulates. Is there a trade offer? We've been having them lately. Thinking it through. Thinking it through. Chewing on it. Watching paint dry. Nothing. Thanks for nothing. Let's go ahead and play one more day in advance for that off day. Oh, man. And no, no trade offers there. Okay. Let's take a look at the standings. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're one game back of Oakland. One game up of Chicago. I still think Chicago is going to be the team to beat. They've won five in a row. Uh, the Angels have lost six in a row. Let's take a look at the National League. We haven't done that in a bit. St. Louis kind of running away with it now in the East. And San Francisco, four teams with 10 wins already in the West. Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Five hits for Cardinal in the an 8-5 to five victory. Um, Cleveland, okay, yeah, so Cleveland beat Boston, not a lot there to go on. Uh, Del Unser had four hits that led Washington to an 11-9 victory. We haven't talked anything about the Senators yet this season, but they get a win there. I have Obviously, I have not done uh, the Indians baseball cards yet, nor have I done the Senators cards yet, but they're coming up before we face them. And Tommy John throws a shutout against the Tigers. Is that his fifth, fourth shutout, fifth shutout? Oh, only his second shutout. His ERA is 088. Holy crap. Tommy John, arm snapping goodness. Okay, let's take a look at... Uh, transactions only one thing Hoyt Wilhelm 46 year old has some mild elbow inflammation I uh, throw on that knuckler it's gonna miss a couple of days okay let's pull up the box score and get out of here thanks for watching guys sorry this one ran a little bit long like and or subscribe to the channel we're up to 303 subscribers that's pretty cool I appreciate that guys who is our player of the game uh, we should really thank Raleigh Fingers for walking in uh, the winning run. That would have been Wayne Comer. Now, Comer had one hit, um, and he had two runs. One he drove in, one was a walk. And Mike Keegan walked three times. This is tough. I'm going to give it to Wayne Comer, though. Bob Byer pitched, I thought, pretty okay. Um 
And the bullpen did their gerb. Good job by Mike Marshall and the san sad trombone. <laughs> uh, Ron Locke gets the win, his first victory of the year, and Fingers loses. Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow uh, and start the new series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.